All right, everybody, welcome to Kilowatt Hour Only EV channel. Today, look at what I have here 2024 Kia EV9. Yes, this is my 2024 Kia EV9. And uh, I'm sure you guys will probably ask on the questions what happened to the EV6? Well, I was able to trade it in for this right here. So, um, and uh, before I start, this is uh, ivory gray, uh, silver, ivory silver, EV9, long range, um, light long range. And um, yeah, I took a delivery of this on Wednesday, which was a few days ago. So um, I'm super excited. I'm not yelling this time. Okay. <laughs> so, um, but I, I was super excited and uh, this process took a long, not that long, but I, I had to do some quick uh, process because, um, and I'll get to the backstory, but the reason why I got this car, is, uh, this SUV is because, well, my family, we're growing, so we need uh, a bigger vehicle that will fit us. So right now, that's the reason why I decided to go ahead and trade in my EV6. And um you know, I love the EV6, but it's getting smaller for me. I believe I'm probably I've mentioned that before. So, uh, but I'm getting used to the driving a bigger vehicle now. I have, I mean, I'm not used to that. I started from a sedan. I'm a Honda guy, and from a Honda guy to a Kia guy. So, um, I kind of like it. I really like it. I would love to have the all-wheel drive, the wind, but because of the price. And the trading value that I got for the EV6, so I decided to stay with this just, just for me to have something. It is okay. It has some good features that the EV6 didn't have. Um, so, and I will explain more about that. So, with all that being said, um, before I will start, if this is your first time viewing this channel, subscribe and like the channel. Check out my road trip videos and uh, on my e on the EV6 charging session videos. I have accessories for the channel ev uh, charging accessories and uh, evac accessories unboxing and uh, reviews so check those items uh check those videos out and um and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel so i'm still doing the the giveaway for the nevion tesla to j1772 adapter so um subscribe to the channel and also subscribe to my social media facebook post a picture of your uh, which you have with your EV, uh, electric vehicle or motors, electric motorcycle and uh, post a comment there and I will select any one of you guys that will be a winner of the adapter. So uh, I saw also we'll be uh, doing a lot of review on this vehicle. So stay tuned for that. All right, so right now I have my um, electric vehicle, the tw uh, 2024 EV9. So, yes, it looks nice. I like the color. I thought maybe the black was gray, but because of some scratches and stuff with uh, with dealing with the scratches on my EV6, I decided to just deal uh, to get this one, which will take a lot of dirt and also. <laughs> And they'll have to, I mean, see the scratches on the vehicle. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around so that you guys can see. Right now, I mean, look at this. This looks nice. I'm not digging the wheels though, but it is okay. It looks, it looks nice on its own, you know. Um, but it really looks nice, really nice. I mean, look at this. Let me go around. I'll take some pictures. You know, it is really nice. So, yeah. I mean, it looks different. It looks really different. A little even bigger than the Telluride because I was at the dealership and I was looking at it and it looks different at the te uh, than the Telluride. So, a little bit bigger. Um, and this is a six-seater. Uh, light long range EV9 and I really like it. I really like it. So let me know in the comment section what you guys think about the EV9 if you're in the process of getting one. Um, there are some features that is lacking from the between 
this one and the wind the land and the gt line uh you wouldn't recognize those vehicles so the light and uh when they have the same rims design and the land the land and the gt line has the same rim or the few might have few different rims with especially with the gt line but you will see you will see most of them is like they 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 have they have that you would recognize which one is gt line and which one is the land you know so um let's go ahead and get inside the vehicle and see what we got here all right so now i'm about to get into the interior as you can see the the handle this one pops out my ev6 the with the wind doesn't have that but the gt line and the gt the uh the door handle pops out so um right now i have the key oh no okay i have the phone in the car and the key in the car so it's not gonna lock so pull the door and it opens as you can see it has a power This is an eight-way driver power seat with two uh, power lumbar support. Also, the passenger side also have an eight-way powered and a anyway, uh, no, as you can see, the powered dashboard looks well. different. Uh, the GT line and, and it is different land, compared to the EV6. Uh, the EV6, uh, you have the the rotary uh, gear shifter, but now it's like it is on the side which i am not a fan of because like i have to push the button here <laughs> but i'm getting used to it and also twist uh shifting the gear here and pushing the park here so i'm still getting used to that um and i do like some features that was added to this you know so i i, I do i do like the feature that was added to this um now you have the cooling and the heated heated seat uh button on the side um and you can see here there is a fingerprint uh, scanner right here um you have the nfc right here i don't know if you guys can see it but there's an icon right here the nfc um i already connected my phone to the vehicle so i can use my phone that's what, another thing i love about this is i can use my phone as a key so yeah i, I like that i like that uh, the fact that i can do that and the nfc i don't think this version have the the nfc card with it but they told me that it has one but um they told me it has one but i can't find it now well actually they said they, they don't they thought it was in there but it's not in there so right now as you can see the ui the ui looks the user interface looks different so and i like the fact that they are working on that to get a better user interface now when it comes to the map um it's a little bit different as well it's different um still has the same old map uh navigation route planner map or whatever as you can see the map so and uh but it, it, it looks good i really like that the only thing that i don't like is them uh kia put in the climate control control on, in the middle here which the steering is um you know in the way and i don't know who thought about that to put that I mean they could have just left everything here just left it like the last uh from the ev6 so i already got all my stuff in here so the kids um i already got theirs uh the child seat in there so right now does the passenger's driver is trying to seat, and they have a button here that you can shift the vehicle forward for someone to stretch their back on a road trip uh so right now i got my kids my daughters she just turned one yesterday happy birthday to her um and my son's uh stroller i mean a uh, child seat over there and the two-seater seat the two seat in the back they're folded back right now so and there's a lot of space and i like the fact that i can just put the kids on the seat without no issue and and i love that i like the fact that i can do that without struggling trying to tighten down the you know the 
uh, the seat belt. It was easier to do, and um, you know, and the height of it too. So let me go ahead and open up the trunk. The trunk space is is an okay size because um, this is where it stops, and um, and you don't have that much in here. <laughs> So there's nothing more, nothing else here, no other space in here. So this is all you got. Nothing. And uh, you can see here, you can see here you have, um, if you want to close the tailgate from the inside, if you are trying to use this as a, you know, as a camping vehicle, lay the air, um, air mattress in here. You can do that just close from us that instead of putting pushing the button from here like the ev6 and you got the cigarette lighter and uh you have uh the button to lower the second row seats you got the uh 125 volts 15 amps outlet and that's it anything else and you got the cutoff um for emergency cutoff um open it right here so let's see here and you have and i like the fact that they put uh something here for you to know when to push to open the door no issue with that kind of like it the only thing is just have to push this out um let me close this back and this comes with a 22 55 60 19 rim tire and it comes with a kumho crew gen ev hp 71 tires really thick too i don't know how much the tire is gonna cost but we'll find out uh this time i did not get the tire warranty uh the roadside assistant tire i mean what they call it the hazard tire uh warranty this comes with a regular carpet i am working on getting the all-weather mat i saw a couple of them i saw one on ebay and uh, amazon i'm trying to figure out which one is the best to get um, as you can see, I mean, it's, it's a nice size, big size SUV. Uh, right now, honestly, to be honest, I am not digging this panel right here. They should have just made it all the same color. I don't know why they thought about that, but I don't know. What do you guys think? I am not digging this at all. Like, I am not. Maybe it, it kind of blending with a tire, you know. Um, at night, I'm not sure how it looks because I never pay attention to it that much because I've been busy with my work schedule. So um, this weekend, weekend is the only time that I had any chance to do anything with the vehicle. So and I had to do this because if not, it's going to be going to week two of owning the vehicle. And I already put in uh, 250 miles already and I got it on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i drive a lot and i will be taking this car on a road trip this coming weekend so look at this i like i like the user interface and you can also change the user interface let me let me so right now i have 46 percent set of charge and estimated range of 250 uh, to, uh 100 and uh estimated range of 138 miles so they moved there the range indicator to the other side and uh, right now the mileage i have uh 250 miles yep 250 miles weather's nice but it still feel cold right now the current temperature on the outside is 67 degrees fahrenheit so um right now i have this set up to have a password uh the fingerprint cannot work until i get the second key i don't know the reason why i can't decide to start doing that like when I bought my EV6, I got two keys right away when I purchased the vehicle, but they only gave me one key and they said key is going to give me another one because sure that I'm the right person purchasing the car. It's like, really? Anyway, um, so I'm waiting for that key after they set up all the, all the stuff and I can set up the fingerprint. Fin fingerprint. Oh, I just dropped my other phone. So the fingerprint. Right, let me put in a password, but I can still drive without the uh, uh, entertainment center uh, open or locked. I can still drive the vehicle because the phone already authenticated that the car, uh, I have the car, the, the key, the key to phone or whatever it's called, 
feature it's just that that was not unlocked it's a safety feature as well that is great especially if you have uh if you want to set up the uh, valet mode for someone to drive the car to park you know so they still have so let me turn around and uh, look at the steering wheel it looks different it's actually different from the ev6 but one thing I don't like, it, I'm not going to say that <laughs> what I don't like it, but I'm not digging this. I'm not digging this at all, but it's okay. And uh, what I love about this, like they added the highway driving assistant to, to this. The car maybe is still learning the camera, the vehicle is learning the area because it's like whenever I'm driving the car is different. Maybe because it's a bigger vehicle, uh, the highway assistant is struggling a little bit. I know it rained this week. But it was struggling a little bit and it was getting better later on. So maybe they have an AI system uh, on a car that is learning how to drive, <laughs> you know, so but it was getting better. I know I do notice that in the last two days. So what else can I say here? Anything more? Yes. So let me go ahead and open up the trunk. So right now you can push the uh, button here twice and you open up the trunk and uh, there's an emergency trunk release here. You push this out and uh you push that to open up the trunk you pull this right here so they cover it compared to an ev6 all right so i just dropped my magnetic <laughs> uh door seal the problem is i do not want to remove that so i put it on the side here i don't know if that's going to be a good idea because this, but this one's been falling off so i have to figure out whether the, something's wrong with the magnet i think it it, it stays here like this I'm gonna leave it this way but that's why i left the magnetic right there so it, it comes on let me see if i close it a little bit no the sun glare okay so you can't see the light okay so let me close it and let me go ahead to the trunk oh uh, frunk this has a bigger frunk this time as you can see it is big and i have a couple of stuff in here the car comes with a small uh, level one evse it comes with a level one EVSC. At this time, they put one in there, but they didn't put the V2L. So I'm gonna get a V2L adapter to use. So this has looks similar to the V2L uh, adapter, but this is a AC 120 volts, 12 amps. That's how far you can go. But I do have a 20 amp outlet, so I'll use that with this car to see how many, <laughs> how long it's gonna take to charge the car with this big battery. And look at how deep it is. It is really deep. And I still have I have my toolbox right here. I never did a review about it. I thought I will do a review about it, but I forgot. So I do have the Electron uh, Tesla to J1772 adapter, and I do have my uh, Fox Speed uh, jumper cable right here, jump starter right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this back. So it kind of it's nice that they had a uh, plastic to cover the front but they're very easy to remove you have the button right here but right there on the side and remove that and this right here has the brake fluid okay and uh, this side you have the windshield fluid and uh, you do have the what is here so this is the this is a coolant yep that's what it is the coolant i do have some of the coolant from the first car let me see what is here let me open this all right and this is the insert for the if you need to um uh refill your ac your uh if you are running low on freon on your ac okay and uh this adjustment for the lamps uh you probably need the tool for that adjustment for that one as well and uh let's see here nothing that much the battery so you have you get uh to get access to the battery from here so um it's saying something to pull it out so i'll probably have to yank it out for it to come out uh so yep that's probably what's gonna be i believe they checked it before yeah so um and there's another opening here which is probably for the air filter yep and uh yep that's the space right there i was trying to open it early uh, a couple of days ago but that didn't work and this like yep it is there the filter all right cool 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 uh anything else so 
so if you need to uh replace the cabin air filter that's where you're gonna take it out from uh what do we have here so this is like a, a hook to hold something inside a car and this button right here is to release if somebody gets stuck in here i don't know how someone's gonna get stuck in here but anyway <laughs> and uh that's pretty much it so this is um let me go get the maroni you're gonna you have to push this down and uh see what we got all right so you have the glove compartment here so let's look at the maroni see what we got so this is 2024 ev9 rear wheel light rear wheel long range and this has a ivory silver gray interior and uh, this comes with a 99.8 kilowatt hour battery and a single motor engine of a single motor electric motor of uh, 201 horsepower dc fast charge port of uh, 800 volt electric parking brake with auto hold and it has all the other stuff which is follow collision avoidance assistant two blind spot collision avoidance assistant uh, rear cross traffic collision avoidance assistant lane keep assist and lane forward assist two safe safe exit assist and highway driving assistant two assist two uh parking uh, distance warning forward reverse uh, forward and reverse uh navigation based smart cruise control curve and you have other safety which has a dual feature a dual front advanced airbag driver's knee airbag dual front and rear seat mounted side bags front center and full length curtain airbags the interior as you can see they have a couple of stuff in here um i do know they are giving out the free electrify america charging again so i did sign up for that already a uh, home link i like the fact that it has a home link i can hook, uh, connect that to my to my um garage the two garages and the smartphone digital key you got the either ventilation just for the two front seats and uh a whole lot of stuff that is here that is not on the ev6 um the only thing that the car doesn't have and uh, the price was uh 59,200 msrp plus the two items the carpeted floor mats the carpet cargo mat which was uh 225 and uh 115 each and the total plus free was 61,000 uh and 35 dollars i didn't see any markup i don't believe they add markup to it so with all the stuff that was added everything was a lot <laughs> so this the epa range is uh 304 miles epa range and the charge time on a level two will take 15 hours two minutes and uh dc will take you i don't think they put that in there but they only put it on it but it should take you about what 35 minutes to charge from 20 to 80 percent and uh, 45 to 100 percent i have to check that if i am wrong i will put the correct info the correct information uh at the monitor so uh, on, the, on your monitor either way left or right i'm gonna put that in there so let me go ahead and close this let's see here level warning airbags whatever uh, i got all the paperwork uh, not the paperwork but just some manuals um some information the vehicle manual right there so um i will be recording videos about the how the car's vehicle is performing so i just want to do an introductory uh video about this car that yes i finally got the car and um let me know you know just want to let you guys see that so let me know guys what you think about this uh ev9 and if you're ev9 owner or if you're ev6 owner uh let me know what you think about this vehicle if you are thinking of uh trading in uh the vehicle for uh, your ev6 or you know your ev6 for this vehicle right here so let me know in the comment section and also uh if you're interested in getting an ev6 uh ev9 kid is doing us um a promotion right now where you get up to six thousand dollar off the vehicle 
if you finance with Kia. So check it out and see before it closes. So just letting you guys know. So thank you guys for watching. If this is your first time viewing the channel, subscribe, like, and uh, hit the notification bell. Also follow my other social media pages, the Facebook, Instagram, TikTok uh, pages. Check that out. I will be doing a video on a road trip this weekend. So stay tuned for that. I might even be going live on that. So um, thank you guys for watching. See you in another video. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Bye bye.